Hey, how you doing? My name is Noshi, and today we're gonna to be continuing on tearing down my engine for a motor. Before, we took off the head of the motor, and so today we're gonna to work on the bottom of the motor and pretty much drop out the pistons. First thing I have is the motor turned upside down or partially upside down so that all the oil could like drip out onto the floor onto a cardboard <laughs> so it's dripped out I left it overnight so what I'm gonna do today is take off the oil pan and try to drop out the pistons and see how those look so the first thing I'm gonna have to do right now is start taking off some more accessories so this is the power steering pump so I'm gonna take that off and then start taking off the the oil pan. So looking at it, it looks so much easier to take it off off the motor compared to if it was inside the car. Cause if it was inside the car, like you have to drop the subframe and move forward the steering rack, I believe a little bit and using wobble sockets just to get to all of these bolts. And it's a pain. So yeah, before I even put this motor back into another car or something, I'm gonna go ahead and change those gaskets. So the power steering pump is held on by these three bolts, one here, uh, one over here, and one right here. So take those, take those three off and then pretty much it'll fall right off. All right, so the power steering is off, so I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing apart the oil pan. And it looks to be all E12s going all the way around. So yeah, I'm gonna start going through taking them all off. Let me make sure here, here. Here, here, follow all the way around. Okay, yeah, so it's all pretty much follow the whole perimeter of the motor and you get rid of all the bolts to take off the pan. So the oil pan is off and this is what it looks like so far. I checked around, I don't see any loose debris or anything like that. Everything looks fine so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and do is take off the oil filter with a pickup and I'm gonna use a E10. So E10 and take off those, all these bolts right here. All right, so the pickup is out and it's clean as heck. There's nothing in it. The screen looks good. And yeah, um, so far so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep on going with the E10 and take off all those screws so I could take this, I forgot what they call this thing. Anyway, I'll post it when I'm editing, so. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off and then we should be able to see the pistons. All right, so I think I found my issue and it looks like there's some cracks inside of cylinder three. And remind you, that's the cylinder that had the uh, zero compression. So I'll see why it has zero compression because the air was escaping right through there. So yeah, all the cylinders look good except three. Wait, yeah, three. So the one thing I, I was surprised about is if you notice, you see those uh, oil spurters. Let me see, get it out of here. Yeah, right there. So each cylinder has one. So I'm like, okay, each one is individually fed oil through the pist to the pistons. So that's pretty tight. All right, so I was gonna take out all the pistons, but right now I'm just gonna take out cylinder three, the offending one, and see how it looks. But yeah, kind of bummed right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and all you're gonna need is an E12 socket. So E12 with a standard jack handle over it for some leverage cracks in there too. So the block line has cracks and the bearings, they don't look too bad. Some of them got like some scoring on them. But other than that, all this right here is junk. And I'm about to say, this is all junk also, but at least the head is good. So at least the head is usable, but I'm gonna need a bottom end. All right, so pretty much I'm gonna have to pause this project for a bit because I have to do some research and figure out what I'm gonna go ahead and do about this cracking the block. So either I'm gonna go ahead and use this block as a nightstand or something, or reuse the current head, cause the head is still good, just the bottom end is messed up per se. And, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but 
if you have any comments or suggestions or anything, just go ahead and make them known below in the comment section. Uh, yeah, so I have some mulling to do over this because I really want to do this build on this block because this is my original motor. And yeah, it'll be, it'll, it's, I don't know the feeling of using the original block and getting it back up into running form. So it's looking like it's, so it's looking like that's not going to be the case, but yeah, here's hoping. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.